Park. That's Robertson. Park again. Better ball inside Mackay to Robertson. Well, there's a curl and that is in. There's deflection, I think. One each. John Robertson, the man who seemed most likely to succeed, and he has. 31 minutes of the second half gone to the delight of the heart support. And we, I think, had an almost perfect picture of that. Right this time with the corner. And flick on, the chance on the line, the ball is in, and John Robertson has equalised. And Hearts shock Aberdeen once again. For well, Hearts right back in the match with John Robertson's 10th goal of the season, and their supporters celebrate as well they might. Well, not many teams pulled back a two-goal deficit in Aberdeen. It was a corner kick which set it up from Gary Mackay. Brian Whittingham got the gentlest of touches at the near post. Had fell for Robertson, he had two chances at it. The second hit the roof. Well, Hearts players aggrieved about the goal being allowed to stand in lieu of that offside claim against Joe Miller. This Scott Crabb hitting back. And immediate retaliation from John Robertson. Hearts fans go wild as Robertson equalises within a minute. Oh, what an explosive couple of minutes, the long ball forward, the Celtic defence will not be at all happy about this, it's Scott Crabb who does some excellent work, faced here by Derek White, he nutmegs him, goes inside, forces the ball along, and there was John Roberts with that instant volley, and Hearts are back on level terms, Robertson with his 19th goal of the season, runs all the way through the Morris, this match being played, all interventions in this game, brilliant tackle and that, just clipping it back out of midair. The nice running forward, but there's no outside. Here's Wayne Foster. That's in. Robertson, 1 0. Beautiful goal by Hart. With 22 minutes gone, Hart are in the lead. And that was the ball that mattered. And quite obviously, Foster kept his head. Neat ball, crucially missed there. And there was Robertson. 99th goal for his club. Playing in midfield. There he is again. Mighty clears. There's O'Leary, not too happy with that. On it goes to Robertson. It's a great chance for Robertson, and he scored. One nothing for Hearts, Roberts at the scorer. And oh dear, that Celtic defence. Indeed, the man I was praising, Pierce O'Leary, looked rather stranded and flat. And neatly taken by Clark and Roberts and going in. And although recently he's gone off the boil, what about that for a finish? Perfect. Well, that's right beyond McCarthy now. John Robertson. Does he have the control? That looks like a penalty kick, and his. Great tackle by Rogan as Cahun went forward, and it's a penalty to Hart. Hardly any protest from a single Celtic player about this. And a valuable kick to be taken by John Robertson. The prodigal return with an important task. Whoa. That's it, the equaliser. Simply done by Robertson. Very big heart support here this afternoon, having something at long last to cheer about in the 28th minute of the first half. We'll get a free kick for that challenge on Black. Fighting hard in midfield. Exactly 15 minutes gone in the second half. Celtic still leading by two goals to one. That's a neat ball through to John Robertson. And he's done it. Oh no, he has now. The rebound and hearts have equalized through John Robertson. Two each. 
as the Hawks supporters celebrate, suddenly a little chink appeared in that Celtic defence and Robertson was through it like a flash. That's why he's always been so deadly. Uh, I thought he was going to miss it. He put it away from the goalkeeper, off the post, and that is what good strike. Kilbarry last night when Jim Betts' quick free kick caught out the Clyde Bank defence and Gary Mackay was hauled down. John Robertson's penalty kick was confidently put away and the Tynecastle team had their reward for some concerted pressure. We're well, aired the British clubs this week, but under the guidance of caretaker manager Sandy Clark, they achieved the most outstanding result. John Robertson's magnificent header giving the Tynecastle side the perfect start. One Robertson doesn't do it, then Cahoon does, or Foster. All capable of it, then there's a good for Robertson, he's put it in. One nothing. What a dreadful blunder there by the Dundee United defence. A lot of strikers, by the way, get opportunities like that and they can't put them away. Well, he did this time. Watch this dreadful mistake coming up. Pushed down there by Bannon and up top Robertson. That kid is picking it up, it's no offside. Everything at the moment going for hearts. That's a good one, choose the second. John Robertson. Brilliantly positioned. Skillfully executed. As I was just saying, just under eight minutes to have time. was black it was driven across more than anything else brilliantly put away but dear oh dear where was the cover <laughs> Levine just on his side Donald Park kept going up on it Chance for Kidd, there's Robertson, great save, and it's a penalty kick. Superb save by David Nady, but the laws don't allow that sort of thing in the penalty box. It's a penalty to Hearts, would you believe? The ten men have fought back, and now this marvellous opportunity to level the scores with 25 minutes of the second half gone, and David Nady is booked for that. I'm afraid that's what happens if he does it deliberately and is done with a smile. And Hearts get the penalty. And here is this talented young man to step forward, John Robertson. What a moment for him. Hamish McAlpin. I think the referee unhappy about somebody encroaching into the penalty area. Well, he said 14 years of cup ties, the goalkeeper, Hamish McAlpin. This is an important one for him. Hearts have equalised. And the support goes crazy. Well, I will say to them directly, I had written your team off at half time and now look. And if I had to say about that penalty kick and the way it was swept in, it was brought about apart from anything else in the spirit the Hearts team showed because from the Terencings has come an unending flow of vocal encouragement which as I said would have lifted a dead person up and thus Hearts finding themselves on level terms quite remarkably. I recognise and seen that often after Christmas, not before it, I would say, amongst the heart support, who we'll also have another visitor from the heart of Midlothian, Laplanders Supporters Club. Perfectly oh, valid tackle there by McDonald. Ball went. Oh, Dundee United are struggling in the middle of the defence. That's a superb ball. Cahoon, he can't put it away. Robertson.
wonderful time amongst the heart supporters. Really great goal picking by this Billy Thompson. To him getting that chance, watch the goalkeeper narrowing the angle. But he couldn't stop Robertson. Clark doing marvellously here. Breaking up the defence, spreading it around, and Cahoon kept his head. And watch this, Robertson. Oh. But the lead lasted only two minutes. Colin Miller's clumsy tackle and Colin Cameron giving Hearts a penalty. John Robertson stepped up to make his usual competent job from the spot. The 200th league goal of his Tyne Castle career. Every once in a while, in every football club, a player comes along whose eye for the ball and instinct for the game is just a touch above the rest. Something special happens, an air of expectation mingles amongst the crowd. Anticipation breeds excitement each time the player gets a ball. And when the goals keep coming in a never-ending stream, an awe settles in the realisation that the story of a legend is unfolding. This is the story of a player whose love for the game has made him a hero in the eyes of thousands. A player whose name is respected by his... Levine. Levine Tosh McKinley. Thomas, play on to the referee, it's Gary Mackay, Thomas is still on the ground, it's laid off now to Tosh McKinley, Jumbet drives it through, and John Robertson sends the ball beyond Marshall, 42 minutes gone and Hawks take the lead, Jumbet having the effort at goal and John Robertson was there to get the ball behind Gordon Marshall, John Robertson has a tremendous scoring record against Celtic. It was Jim Bat driving it through and Robertson with the touch, wrong fitting the goalkeeper. And what a record this man has against Celtic. He's the top scorer in this fixture and that's his 14th goal against Celtic. Well, it was a good cross from Cosma McKinley. Finally fell to Jim Bat, who tried his luck again, had a shot earlier on in the game we never hit the target and if you're going to be in the right place at the right time John Robertson is just a very man to do that he gives Hearts the lead at the end of the first half well Celtic when the draw was made this was a tricky tie for them make no mistake about it away in Edinburgh all the fashion of Tyne Castle And that arch opportunist, John Robertson, has struck it. Well, there's a lot of space around, that's how the best. Lovely pass from Fulton there. The cover came across, well squeezed in by McCann, and Robertson got the power on it. Marshall got a hand to it, couldn't stop it. That's a great ball in from McCann there. Robertson steadied himself brilliantly, let it run across him. Just gave himself the space, and still the power left. He's tired in this match, we wonder if he might be taking off. Fantastic finish, and if anything's going to lift. Kid and brought down. I did the referee's blown. Yes, it's a free kick. Free kick to Hawks. Robertson with fitness at the flex and it's him. Robertson, 
Exactly ten minutes to go. Hearts are in the lead. Well, I think there was a decided deflection here, but watch Robertson. And there was the touch, and Bonner couldn't get near it. It came off a Celtic shoulder. A beautifully placed, nevertheless, by Robertson. Johan to Frail, there's Mackay, good ball in, McCart got a very important touch on, this is Johnston, Frail again, rubbing it in, came off the hand, did it of Robertson, that was handball by John Robertson, the referee is giving the goal, but it looked to me as though it was palmed in by Robertson, well there are multiple players crowding around the referee, the heart that multiple bench I read also, Chris McCart says it was handball, and I think the right referee feeling will talk to Sean Kelly. Well, John Roberts is going to be given a goal here, I suspect. But let's check this again. Back it came, Johnston to Frail. Well, not entirely clear from there, but my initial impression was that this was handball. Let's see it from a different angle. Back it goes to Frail, and it comes. Certainly handball, surely handball. Neat little touch, and I think the free kick has been given to Hart. Number 10 there, Donald Park. Baldwin and Robertson might just have a go. He's out of the picture just now. There he is now, just behind Bowman. John Robertson, not 100%. And there's a ricochet and it's in. Robertson gets a credit, but there was a distinct deflection. one nothing, and exactly a minute gone. Well, I think the deflection should interest us here. That's a stunning start. A simple free kick right into the wall and quite clearly McAlpin going one way, the ball going the other and a, nothing so embarrassing as... McKinley's free kick. And that got McPherson this time as a penalty. A push from the back by Gary Gillespie on McPherson. The Celtic players upset about that but it is a penalty kick to Hearts and this could blast the game wide open. There's McKinley flighting it in, it's awkward, hanging in the air, and a clumsy challenge by Gillespie, it certainly appeared to be a foul, and a penalty kick correctly awarded. So, Robertson, who has a three out of three record this season for Hearts, and the chance to put Hearts right back in the match. There's Robertson against Marshall. He's been allowed to turn. Philippon heading firmly away. That's Berry. And now Cahoon. Good cross. Up goes McDonald. There's Robertson. The only goal inevitably from John Robertson. Just on the end of the ball. eventually had to come from the penalty spot. John Robertson tripped up by Stephen Wright and the heart saviour on so many occasions in the past stepped up to slot the ball home for a 1-1 draw. A point apiece and Hart still in their fight. Going straight to the goal line. Right on the near post. A 10. Turned in by Robertson. And the goal is Hart. Second so long has arrived at long last and coming in the simplest possible fashion. John Robertson's fifth goal of the season, McCoy well beaten, 
and it came from the corner kick. Kenny Black with the inswinger, McDonald took all the attention at the near post, all the big men following him across. The ball beat them all, came to Robertson and he's so deadly inside the six-yard box. with a short ball to Cahoon. Cahoon's oh. header, a few weird challenging. Good goal by Kidd. Now oh, not some trouble, here's John Cahoon, a chance now for Hearts. Here's Robertson! Six minutes gone, John Robertson sends the Hearts fans into that speed of delight. And what a disaster for Armbrough. The ball was cleared from that Hearts attack. It came out towards the kid, he flighted the ball back in. Cahoon was chasing, but Ruff appeared to have things under control. Was caught in two minds as he left his penalty box, lost his footing. The ball was played back into the path of John Robertson. How about that for a deadly finish? Willie Johnston. And Donald up once again. Swinger from Johnson, there's John Robertson! Excellent header, Hearts are back in the match. 15 and a half minutes of the match left. Hearts get the goal from perhaps the smallest player on the team. Well, you can see Willie Johnson at the corner kick, waving Robertson towards them, towards the near post area. Then the in swing corner kick right to the head of Robertson who applies with his positioning and then that powerful header leaving Bonner with no chance at all. Well, another two minutes went by and more drama. John Robertson rushing forward, he's down and it's a penalty kick. Gordon Petrich the offender. Now whether the foul was in the box is open to debate. Robertson won't mind, he only recently equaled Jimmy Wartor's record. And now he breaks it. John Robertson, record breaker. League goal number 207. So 2-1 now, and here's Robbo on the ball again. About to shatter the record, leaving four Rangers players in his wake. A look at this for a finish. 3-1 Hearts. John Robertson does it again. He's been at Hearts since he was a kid. And he's never scored a better goal than that one. Could it be his last? This could be his last game for the club. It ends. against Bridge. 1-0 to Hawks. This been a long time coming. Good cross by right, the header by Robertson. And that may settle it. Grab to Robertson. The hat-trick for John Robertson. Running the ball through Leslie Bridge. Congested area, indeed, and this it's an it's equalizer. Brilliantly by Robertson. A minute of injury time gone, and one of the best strikers in the game, young John Robertson, equalizes the score superbly. Just watch this. A quite amazing finish. The way he swept it round out of nothing. And Hearts totally deserving it. The way McLeish was held by the big centre-half and that's why the penalty was awarded. 
So McLeish now protesting vehemently to the referee. Jim Layton also. William Miller coming across. And referee Ferguson will take further action. Now this really is incredible. It's going to be a third booking of the match for an Aberdeen player. For descent or for kicking the ball away. And McLeish very angry indeed, but he certainly appeared to be involved in the wrestling match there with John Robertson. And it's the heart striker who has the chance to put the Tyne Castle men ahead. So it's John Robertson against Jim Layton. No problem for Robertson. 11 minutes into the second half is Robertson's 29th goal of the season and Hearts are in front well if there ever was a perfect way to take a penalty kick this must come close playing against the Scottish international goalkeeper hitting that with thunderous power no goalkeeper in the line could have saved it and Bet looking for Hagen well Hagen has it now for McLaren's any clearance that's good play from Mackay. Robertson's onside. There's Leach inside. There's Robertson. 1 0 for Hearts. Nine minutes of the first half gone. Jubilation again for the Hearts supporters. And John Robertson gets his 13th goal of the season. Appeals there for offside. He wasn't on line perhaps with McLaren. But this is top class finishing. Well, Hagen took a poor headache clearance to McLaren. This is an excellent bit of play from Gary Mackay. Superbly shuffling inside. Robertson timed that superbly. He was definitely onside. And the finish left Maxwell helpless. This attempt by O'Neill. Lock. Look at Stonewaller, very rash tackle by an experienced defender, Andy Millen. Kenny Clark had no doubt, and John Robertson now has the chance to continue his 100% record from the spot this season. He scored twice in two attempts, total of six for the season, and this would be his 24th derby goal, and that is a record. Well, when he holds the record with 23. For Robertson against Leighton, international teammates. Here comes Robertson. No answer to that. The power was too much for Leighton. And a bit of trouble there. One or two spectators on the field immediately removed by the police. Yeah, it's a well-struck penalty kick. We're very composed, very assured, and really it gave Jim Layton no chance. Jim tried to upset him, obviously, but uh, always had the composure, and a good strike like that will always be the goalkeeper. Third tackle there on Black. There's Collins winning it back for hits. Well, that's good play from Collins. Well, running into that rock of players in Maroon and losing possession eventually. There's Ferguson putting out McKinley on the left. Robertson calls to the ball in the middle. Up he goes. There's Robertson. to Robertson, good play by Hearts, John Robertson! John 
Robertson gets his 11th goal of the season. And that's a vital one. 68 minutes gone. Hearts one, Dundee United one. Well, it was a good build up by Hearts. Derek Ferguson finding young Harrison. They got the ball to John Roberts and a good turn against Kravokovic. Alan Maiden got his hands to the ball but couldn't keep it out. One goal apiece. Ball draw at Kilbawi. Kevin Thomas with the cross and John Robertson firing Hearts into an early lead. Robertson. Oh, good turning again. He's got a late score. It's a great goal. Oh, yes. Oh, no, that was a very fine goal. The angle was extraordinarily difficult. And I, I was just at the verge of saying he'll have to square it. And he confounded everybody by getting it past the goalkeeper from an almost impossible angle. And that is hot. Two up. And that is a game dead and buried as far as Bonneville are concerned because it is only about eight minutes to go. Hearts on the attack. And Gany Mackay brought down by Brian Martin. No doubt this time in the referee's mind. He said clearly a penalty. John Robertson then stepped up to put the game out of reach and guarantee Premier League football at Tynecastle for next season. Just barely 40 seconds into the second half. And there was Duffy. Outmaneuvered there by Bear. There appeared to be a clear foul there. And the penalty kick awarded instantly by referee Sign, who was in excellent position to assess that. And little objection taken by the full kick players. So it's John Robertson, who's got a 100% record this season on the spot. Two out of two against Neil Westwater, who saved two out of three. 2-0 to Hearts. Totally decisive, that penalty by Robertson. He's such a clean striker of the dead ball. Not a there by the half supporters. And it's a perfect opening to the second half of Hearts. And look at the way that was thundered past Westwater. Even the keeper with no chance at all. Colin looks for the cross, it's loyal chip to the near post this time. Robertson marshalled by Duffy, but Robertson's still there, shoots and scores! On the final whistle, John Robertson scores a second goal for Hearts, and the Hearts fans can now depart joyously. Well, it was Bannon's persistence. Robertson on the ground is dangerous. He kept going and from the tightest of angles picking up the half chance the keeper was off his line squeezed it at the post and hearts are through to the last eight bannon a value sweeps it into the air for clark again no black that's for john robertson a great chance for hearts the opening goal eight minute of match and john robertson makes it one nil to hearts Robertson keeping up his amazing scoring sequence. The eighth game in a row in which he's found the net. And only took eight minutes. Now how's this for a polished finish? The ball was lofted in the air and it was played forward. Sandy Clark was involved. Rangers defence faltering. There was Robertson. The calm lob and Walker Strum. So here's a moment of danger for the Rangers defence once again with Kenny Black taking the free kick. Goes Sandy Clark. It hits the post. But with a bit of pushing, there's a penalty kick awarded, is there? No, oh, what has the referee awarded? It looks like a penalty kick, yes. It's a penalty kick for Hearts. Right at the start of the second half. And there you see the referee indicate why. A bit of pushing. Dave McKinnon in trouble for protesting. 
chip free kick from Kenny Black. Swirling in, up went Sandy Clark. He got his head to the ball all right, but there was a bit of pushing. The ball was in the air, and that's why Hearts had the penalty kick. So booking for McKinnon and John Robertson has the chance once again to find the net in the penalty spot. He has a 100% record from the spot this season. So it's Robertson against Walker. Supporters and the perfect start to the second half for the league leaders. Well, John Robertson's confidence, of course, at a height for the moment, coming up to that penalty kick with portal assurance, sending Walker the wrong way, and Hearts now go into a two-goal lead. First McKinley's breaking on the left, but uh, Brooks cuts inside again, gives it to Locke. Highland played through, looking for fashion, and a chance on for Robertson, and Hearts take the lead. 62 minutes gone, and Hearts make the breakthrough, and John Robertson gets his fifth goal of the season, and the combination working there for Hearts. Fashionow, the provider, and the finish coming from Robertson, Fashionow climbing high above McNally, and Robertson getting in ahead of Mowbray, and finishing in clinical style. A little man has scored more than 200 goals for Hearts in his career. And he strikes again this afternoon. So it's Hearts 1, Celtic 0. Volver a poner el balón en movimiento, Lock. Reincorpora McLaren y le pina el segundo palo, dos torres. Atención al lanzamiento del lateral derecho, Lock. Aquí puede venir el peligro en estos balones altos. Pasadú, el gol. Robertson, minuto 25 de la segunda parte, Robertson, lo decíamos, ahí viene el peligro, los balones altos, remató, pasan al jugador de color, y después del rechace de Diego, remató el veterano Robertson, ahí lo ven, gol de Robertson. Robertson, el máximo goleador del Hearts en Copa de Europa, tenía seis tantos, ya son siete. Este hombre que lleva desde el año 82 en el equipo, sin duda el gran veterano y el hombre que siempre resuelve con sus goles decisivos. Poynton. Robertson, nice little layoff for McCann. McCann goes down, that's a penalty. No doubt about it. Well, a lovely little ball through by John Robertson. To McCann. Down he went. Penalty kick. Challenge going on there from uh, Russell Anderson. It's Robertson against Stilly. Beautifully tucked away. Hearts one, Aberdeen one. Superb penalty from John Robertson. Right into the corner. And it was worth the come for Aberdeen when they went two behind after 76 minutes. John Robertson's cross deflected past late in by Gary Smith. This was Robertson's 500th league game for Hearts, and predictably, he was claiming the. They put some pressure on the Aberdeen defence. There's Poynton's corner. There's Dave McPherson's header! Cleared by Michael Watt! When the scraps are around, he'll happily take them. Dave McPherson caused the problems from the corner kick with the downward header. Aberdeen couldn't get it clear, and with 10 minutes left of the semi final, hearts have struck. There's Dave McPherson climbing high, he nodded it down. Robertson took a first touch and then a second, and over the line it went. There's a good corner here from Poynton, hangs it towards the back post, knows that McPherson's going to be there. McPherson gets the header, Robertson gets the final touch, and it goes over the line. That was the reason Jim Jeffries popped John Robertson into the play. He knows that there's not a better chance taker in Scotland on his day. That was over the line. So Aberdeen with not much time to reply to the John Robertson goal. 
He's not fully fit, John Robertson. He's been struggling with that. There's he's trying to find Grant. Johnson steps in for Hearts. Now it's Miller. Looking for Robertson. It's away by Gary Smith. Only as far as Mackay. This is Johnson. Aberdeen players all round. Only gets it through to Robertson. It's off the post. It's Robertson. John Robertson makes it 2-0 to Hearts. And that's Hearts' 60th Premier League goal against Aberdeen. It's John Robertson's 10th Premier League goal against Aberdeen. And the Don's defence all over the place. The pass back to the goalkeeper to come off him, off the post. And that was Robertson to finish off. Hearts 2, Aberdeen... The legacy of being such a prolific scorer is being labelled a penalty box player. But fellow professionals recognise that he has a lot more to offer the game. Yeah, it's not just a penalty box. Well, it was a great header back for Jim Hamilton. And Kevin Thomas actually got the first he header that and I had a swing in my boot. And it just clipped off my boot on the way in. And to be fair, the ball hit me rather than me hitting the ball, to be perfectly truthful. But I knew I had the touch and I wasn't hanging about to dispute it. It was the first time I managed to pull off a surprise party that he thought it would be the following week, but he didn't expect it that night. We are. We're from Barry Lavetti. David Weir gets a free kick just a few yards outside the penalty area. The anxious face on the goal line of Brian Gahn making sure the wall is expertly positioned. He's still not happy with it. John Robertson is over the free kick. Colin Cameron there as well. It's Robertson! It's almost unbelievable! He's been on the pitch a matter of seconds. As John Robertson fires in the equaliser. Story big stuff. That is his 27th goal against him. The state on the ground. He appeared to be in the thick of all that, but what a good bit of play this was. Foster to Gary Mackay. Now, Mackay tries to play the 1-2 here, and Cooper just stays in his path. That was a bad foul by Cooper. Robertson. Seems here at Easter Road, another fan on the park now. And the Hibs jersey and the players urging on to get off. 
Well, this is the kind of scene I think we all feared on the way here today. Anderson to Cahoon, to Mackay. Swinging the passes together, George Wright. Away though by Gordon Hunter. So Hart's keeping on the pressure. Cahoon, the ball through to Foster, he's got Robertson in the middle. Good Robertson, what a goal by Hart. Oh, that was magnificent play. 44 minutes gone, and a classic goal by Hart, holding the play quite brilliantly. It was Mackay to Cahoon. Forward then to Wayne Foster, using his tremendous pace to get away from Snedden. John Robertson coming in, and the header giving Andy Gorham no chance whatsoever. Well, John Robertson enjoys scoring goals against the Bernie, and he does it again this afternoon. The Bernie nil. Hearts three. Well, some Hibernian scarves have been thrown onto the field just in front of our commentary position. A sure runs on to lift them off as the teams now head for the tunnel. Hayfley's attempted clearance clearly handled by Neil Murray. And despite Ali Maxwell's protests, the penalty given. John Robertson was given the responsibility after Mo Johnston's miss against Motherwell recently, and Hearts getting a timely lift for Saturday's Edinburgh Derby. By Maxwell. Hearts coming back. With a chance for Robertson, he scores! Hearts are back in the lead! Maxwell could do nothing about that. Save initially with the penalty. John Robertson swoops again for his 12th goal of the season. It was Gary Maxwell's good punch out of the area there. A good ball back inside. It's flicked up, I think it is, by John Miller. And Jim Bett has the, has the shot. Goes through a rock of players. Ali Maxwell can't do much about it. And John Robertson, who does well as all strikers do, following the ball up into the back of the net. Here we see it again. Jim Bett thinks nothing for him the first time. Ali Maxwell gets a hand to it. And there's John Robertson for the simple tackle. Well, John Robertson got into supremacy, playing some excellent stuff. And McPherson again, and it must be yes! John Robertson finishes it off. A goal thoroughly merited. They've really been building up to that. And as it came down from the head of Big Person, there was Robertson to tuck it in. McPherson is so valuable when he gets up from the box like that. And if he gets support as Robertson gives him it, then... Good running forward by Robertson again. Can he get there? He does it. It's a great goal. in exactly two minutes two goals in two minutes by a striker watch him scoring his fifth goal in the Premier Division this season and what made that goal was his intelligent run forward there's Eamon Bannon Sends it in. Just Cahun. Robertson! <laughs> Sweetly struck by Robertson. And that surely ties it up now for Hearts, leading by three goals to nil. Well, this fine play. Man into Crab. I just look at the way Cahun holds things up in the box. Waits for Robertson to make the position. That's drilled beyond Alistair Maxwell. Oh, what a fine piece of play again. Deliver again, reaching that first. O'Neill with a pass back, he's given that to Crab. Here's Robertson. Deadly finishing by Robertson. Eight 
minutes of the first half gone. A dreadful error here by Colin O'Neill, and Robertson puts Hearts ahead. Here's Colin O'Neill now, trying a long pass back, didn't catch the ball properly, crapped it brilliantly with that back healer, and so too did Robertson with the finish. Derek Ferguson to Robertson popping up on the right. Starting to fear the danger with Derek White. Always robbed, gives it away. Robertson, oh, punishes the error. Great finishing by John Robertson. But what a disaster that was for Derek White. Again, Hibs have left three players on the halfway line, Jackson, Weir and Evans. Forcing Hearts to think about that. Mitchell's header. Hibs setting themselves for a counter-attack and they can get possession again. But it's back with John Robertson. And it's missed by Bonich. Did he Bale get a touch? That's the only question, but it's an error by Bonich without question. And right on the hour mark, Hearts go ahead. John Robertson taking the credit for this. We'll see from this move whether Beard got a touch on this. Well, the answer is he didn't. The bounce deceived John Burridge, and the goal goes down. the way here's McCann showing good pace again the chance is on for Roberts and he must start another milestone in the marvellous career of this little man it's his 25th goal against Hibernian it's his 250th goal for Hearts he's absolutely delighted he absolutely buried that one. McKenna it was who sent it in, but again, the Hibs defence absolutely shocking. It's completely missed there by Andy Bull. And Robertson doesn't miss though as he drilled it beyond Jim Layton. Hibernian nil, Hearts three. McCann sent it in, has slipped by the defender, and Robertson was there to tuck it away. So 39 minutes gone here at Easter Road. Hibernia nil, Hearts three, and this is turning into a real rout, but it's self-inflicted. ...inside the penalty area, and against Hibernia, anything's likely to happen. There's Robertson getting a little touch. Robertson trying to get in the shot! Oh, he's done it! It's unbelievable from John Robertson! He's done it again, and he's set a new record. That's his 23rd goal against Hibernia. And... It's a new record for John Robertson, 184 league goals. He overtakes that other match great Willie Bald in the most dramatic circumstances here at Easter Road. Well, he's punished hips down through the years. He got in a little touch there with his head. The ball broke back to him. There didn't seem to be any way through. But then he found the opening. A tremendous goal by John Robertson. halted by McKinley, that's for Johnston, he's inside David Farrell, supported by Cahoon. And Cahoon now, hustled by two players, he still gets the cross in, here comes McKinley, fine play by McKinley, and the opening goal for Hearts is scored by John Robertson, two and a half minutes on the clock, and the hammer of Hibbs does it again. A brilliant finish here by John Robertson. It's his ninth goal of the season. It's a lovely piece of skill by Tosh McKinley there. Look at that, there's John Robertson in position to do what he does well. And really, Hibbs should know about his ability to score. He's done it so often, but it's all, a lot of it's down to John Cahoon here. 
puts in a nice ball at the back post. In comes Tosh McKinley. Gets to that byline. There it is in net. What a wonderful start for Hearts. Well, what a face of that is for That's good play by Leach. Rule of confidence. There's no offside here. And Lawrence is taken up by the goalkeeper. It's a penalty kick. No, what would that be? Give him a yellow or a red? If Lawrence was going wide, there was another defender there. Tony Parks, remember, the poker goalkeeper was ordered off in the last Premier Division match, and referee McCluskey says yellow, and I think he has justification for that. You see this again, now Lawrence is going away from goal there as he's brought down. There was another defender in close attendance, and I think referee McCluskey was right for the yellow card. But it could be goal number four for Hearts. Here's John Robertson. And here it is. Superbly taken by Robertson. There's no answer to that kind of penalty. Robertson decides that's too far out for a direct strike at goal. So Tosh McKinley will take this left footed, flooding it in towards Dave McPherson. There's McPherson. The chance is on for Robertson. And Hearts are back in front. Deadly finishing once again from Robertson. It's his 17th goal of the season. And it was the aerial power of Dave McPherson which caused the problem here. A fine downward header. It was missed by Ferguson, but not by Robertson. Again, a lovely free kick, beautiful ball played into middle, but look at the marking again. David Ferson gets up here, great header across goals, and little John Robinson doesn't miss that type of chance. The header by McLaren. There's Dave Hart's their third league win in eight days, and saw them leapfrog Aberdeen and Hibbs into third place. John Robertson put them ahead on the half hour. There appeared to be some merit in the Falkirk defender's claims that an arm was used to control Neil Poynton's cross, but the referee saw nothing and Hearts were ahead. Hearts had replaced the injured Stefan Adam with John Robertson and the little striker showed how it should be done with a winning header on the hour mark. Robertson, the king of Hearts once again, but even he must have been surprised at the space he was allowed at the front post. Well, Jim Jeffries didn't have to worry for too long because in the 23rd minute, up stepped the King of Hearts, John Robertson makes it 1-1. Inching ever closer to Jimmy Wardhaw's Hearts League goals record. That's his 205th, one more. And this one coming up, a penalty award to Hearts with Neil Duffy seemingly guilty of a push on Alan Lawrence. At the end of it all, John Robertson weathered the pressure, made it 4-4, and his spot kick took the tie to a penalty shootout. Four minutes to go before half-time, and Hearts took the lead. Lovely skills by John Robertson, and a great finish. Hearts a goal ahead, and well-deserved on the balance of play. And the second came a minute before half-time. Kilmarnock caught out with the ball over the top, and predictably John Robertson ran on to beat Lekovic. Robertson ignored the claims for offside to get his 12th league goal of the season. The finish Kilmarnock nil, Hearts 2. Four years ago, McKinley. Proving to be excellent value. There's Robertson. Deadly finishing by John Robertson. He makes it look so simple. So 19 minutes of the first half gone. The Hearts good spell of form against Motherwell continues. In the simplest fashion here. A little chip free kick by McKinley. Just look at the way Robertson slips Brian Martin here. It looks so easy. And then in that position, there are a few better in the country. Robertson gets goal number six of the season. Robertson. Grab knocks it out to Brian Whitaker. And John Cahoon races through the middle. Cahoon's still going. The back flick to Scott Crabb. He goes down. That is a penalty. has been threatening to happen for some time. High ball by Brian Whitaker. John Cahoon 
does a great job here in holding off Tom Boyd. The other defenders come back. Look at the back flick. And there's Scott Crabb taken out by Boyd. Alistair Maxwell has not saved a penalty this season in three attempts. John Robinson is one out of two from the spot. Ten minutes left in the first half. Pressure point in this game. Here's Robertson. And the Hearts take the lead. John Robertson with a perfectly executed kick. It's 1-0, Hearts. Robertson with his 10th goal of the season. John Cahoon will take this corner for Hearts. And the big guys are up this time. There's one of them, McPherson. And John Robertson scores for Hearts. Beautiful corner by Hearts. John Cahoon, the target, Dave McPherson. And Robertson's second effort beats Colin O'Neill on the goal line. A double for John Robertson. Touch on from Bone finds Johnston. Clark wants it in the middle. Here's John Robertson. And the perfect finish makes it two apiece. He really is so accomplished in that situation with right foot or left. So, 19 minutes into the second half. Oh, the Hearts go back in terms, created on the right. The ball played across, into the box for Roberts. They made his own position going towards the left. And that drilled left foot shot left foot down and helped us. Still Hearts have it, Robertson! That's a wonderful goal by John Robertson! 18 minutes gone! Well, the great Tyne Castle... Present spell. So it's Derek Ferguson to take it. And Craig Levine with the downward header. And John Robertson was on the line. 14 minutes gone. Hawks take the lead. Hawks won. Rangers nil. So the free kick floated in from Ferguson. It was Craig Levine headed it down. It was net bound. And that certainly looks like a Levine goal to me. Robertson is ever on the line. But uh, that goes down as a goal to Craig Levine. And that's his fourth of the season. But uh, John Robertson claims everything in sight, but the ball was certainly net bound. And McCann tried the shot, it was uh, Trevor Stephen who blocked it. That's uh, having a bit of a go at the moment. That's a good ball! Yes! John Robertson! Well, it's no more than Hearts deserve. That certainly gives him a bit. Okay. Pai, this is Fulton. Rangers now being given a stern examination by the skills of Neil McCann. Great work from McCann! It's in for Robertson! Robertson has got the equaliser, but the man he's celebrating with, Neil McCann, deserves a huge slice of the credit. Well, John Robertson is Hart's version of Ali McCoy. The type of striker that gets in in front of players there. Fantastic work from McCann, though. He's been having a great second half. He and Cameron are making all the difference to this hot side. They're getting their width. He's taking players on. Look at that bus. The Rangers players, two, both players already, but can't do anything about it there. Gets between them, knocks a great ball in the box. John Rocks there. Watch this. Charlie Miller and Craig Moore both get yellow cards. They can't foul him this time. Gets in the box, delivers a fantastic cross across the face of goal, beats Andy Gorham between Gorham and Goff. Who's there? John Robertson, two each. But any hopes of a comeback were dashed three minutes later. Robertson off and running. He beat the offside trap. He rounded Thompson. And from a difficult angle, he made it 3 1. That is a great finish, though. Predictably, John Robertson grabbed the ball. And at the second time of asking, Hearts were ahead. Lesbridge doing well to block the spot kick. 
But Robertson's sharpness earned him his 11th goal of the season. Lead for four minutes. David Craig has to put his hands up here for giving the ball away. And that let Jim Hamilton release John Robertson. Hearts back on level terms. So Robertson's great scoring run continues. This was his sixth in five games. Goal. He's sent tumbling. Another professional foul. So will it be red again? It's the new boy Mark Humphreys, but he gets away with the yellow. But the controversy didn't finish there. Pocock was unsure. Was it a free kick or a penalty? A quick word with the linesman, and he says a free kick. The replay shows it was the right decision. So what could Hearts do with this? Watch this one, John Robertson. 1-1. One, one. Great strike from the Scotland strike man. And it's level terms. At this stage then, it's hard to... Well ...in front of goal then. And in the final minutes, the old danger. Well, so keen to push forward. Hearts catch them on the break. Robertson with a finish. His manager, Jim Jeffries, delighted. Extended that lead 18 minutes later. After a good build-up on the left, they managed to put Steve Froten clear. He picked out Eskelson with a deep cross, and the Swedish international's volley was turned past Lekovic by John Robertson. Typical opportunism here by the striker, as the Hearts revival continues, with seven points from their last nine. Hasn't been taken. McLaren then takes two touches. Lock crossed. Johnson jumped with Geddes, but was a keeper impeded. The ball went over the line, but Robertson made sure. Park, John Robertson taking a step closer to the club's goal scoring record after just two minutes. From him by Patterson, Gardner's in trouble, a chance now for Hawks. Campbell into the net, off the head, off Sandy Sandy Clark, Robertson, vintage John Robertson, well, it may only be a but what a magnificent goal it was, the high ball nodded down by Clark, chested down, taking the volley by Robertson and money didn't move an inch. Long free kick for Hearts and John Robertson wide open, there's no offside, the shot and a goal, what a goal by John Robertson. Darwin Mackay, and no question, that is a penalty kick. So in the 23rd minute, John Robertson has a chance to score his 27th goal of the season. Robertson against Money. It's 1-0 for Hearts. Delighted Hearts contingent from Edinburgh today. Money getting a hand to it, you'll see here. But it was a well taken penalty. Here come Hearts again. And it's five. John Robertson. And it's all so easy for Hearts now. Who would have predicted this before the game? Fixtures between these two teams are normally so tight and it was another break forward from Hearts the ball falling to John Robertson another simple tap-in they keep their shape so well Mackay on the right hand side back to Ferguson enjoying his return to the top team this afternoon to Crab, lovely little flick down Mackay again whoa what a turn from John Robertson he's the best penalty box player in Scotland that's the perfect illustration. Gary Mackay to Crab. Mackay has made the break forward to the edge of the box. Another first time passed. And look at this for a turn. And this time with the left foot. 
leaves poor Tommy Turner helpless once more. So a 5 0 threat. Lovely turn on there by Crabbe. Great shot from John Robertson. Oh, an absolute belter. Good long ball played forward here by Craig Levine and a lovely little flick on by Scott Crabbe with his head. Two bounces for John Robertson just to seize the opportunity. Trying to play the one-two, they topple to ground, the penalty kick is awarded. A vital moment for Hearts. Robertson against Bottom. One goal apiece. Gary Mackay trying to play the one-two, they topple to ground, the penalty kick is awarded. A vital moment for Hearts. Robertson against Bottom. One goal apiece. Sprinting to the byline, a good out swinging cross, and there was Tortellano just in front of Robertson. John Cahoon now with the corner. Levine charging in, and a chance! John Robertson! And the irony for Hibbs, who thought they were back in the match a moment ago, they're now three goals behind. Corner kick from Cahoon. Ricocheting among these players in the box, breaking to John Robertson for the needles of head flicks. And Hearts go three ahead. Yep. Well, Hearts starting very briskly, looking to take the initiative in the early stages of the match. So John Burridge coming into this match after three straight shutouts. Anxious to maintain that record. Hogg getting up well. There's Robertson! <laughs> Typical finishing from Robertson. Hard to the head in just four minutes. The corner kick caused the damage as Graham Hogg's contribution, which was crucial, getting up so well to that. But a look at the turn on the six yard line from John Robertson. Well, Hogg does so well under a lot of pressure here. Keith Wright was the marker, but Robertson found space in that crowded goal mouth. And it's a perfect start for Hearts. And it was nodded all over by Kirkwood. Out by Hegarty, there's Curry lofting it back. All on side. John Robertson! Ten minutes left for play and United have paid the ultimate penalty for their all-out attacking penalty. And this undoubtedly was a moment of slackness in the United defence. Curry lofting it in, the United player Scoot looked at the linesman, allowed Robertson to turn and loft it beyond Hamish McAlpine for the goal which should guarantee Coyle brought down Neil McCann. Coyle clearly felt that the Hearts winger had taken a dive, but despite the protests, referee Mike Pocock wasn't for changing his mind. Make up your own mind as Coyle comes in with a typical forwards challenge, and that left keeper Ali Maxwell to face John Robertson. Hearts ahead after 74 minutes. A typical Robertson effort this, and enough to win the three points that put Hearts fourth on the table. It ended Hearts 1, then the United nil. Levine showing his composure on the ball. Despite the very determined running of the Dukla front two. Sandy Clark again, there's the chance for Hearts, and Foster leaves it to John Robertson. Hearts are in front. John Robertson back on the goal standard. And Tyne Castle again bossed to life. What Sandy Clark's contribution with the head flick on. Foster had this effort saved by Costa Nick. It fell kindly for Robertson. And that's the kind of chance he just doesn't miss. Yes. Bad book for that challenge. All the ten minutes remaining. Mackay. Tries to get it through, there's a shot, it's there! 
Robertson. Two on for Hearts, and that is the very best of John Robertson. He had no time to make up his mind other than go for goal. And I'll tell you, a lot of players will realise how highly professional a goal that is. Levine. I one again. Robertson with a shot, and what a goal! Oh, a brilliant goal! enough initially but watch his positioning and how deadly he can be in the finish you could be a very interesting break there's no side this could share it robertson must score he must yes oh. and he's not trained His second, Hartsford, 21 minutes into the second half. And that look of triumph in Robertson's face says it all. There was no offside. He did it so coolly. He, he took about half an hour to do it, but he did it. Sharp goalkeeping by Woods. Another corner kick. There's McPherson. Turned in by Robinson, the ball's in the net, and Hearts are back on level terms. You never see die spread and Hearts pays off again. And the goal coming from the corner kick. Dave McPherson doing well, get his head to the ball. There was Robinson right in front of Chris Woods. The despairing effort on the line by Ferguson, but it was too late. And Hearts are back on level terms. Well, John Robertson picks up his 20 at the defence, playing it to Sandy Clark, going for the return, forcing his way through the Rangers' defence. Woods came to meet him, Mackay got to the ball first, then was taken out of the play, and that, for me, was a clear penalty kick. Now, John Robertson against Chris Wood. John Robertson, who has a record of 10 out of 11 this season. Uh, top penalty man in Scotland, against one of the top goalkeepers in the country. Robertson looking for the winner. Here's John Robertson. 2 1 to Hearts. Eight minutes of the match remaining. John Robertson with his 30th goal of the season gives joy to the Hearts fans at the opposite end. Quite match so far for Robertson until that moment. Chris Woods. Looks very unhappy indeed about the decision which may well have cost Rangers the game. Well, here's how to take a penalty kick. Not too much subtlety, just lots of power.